Good morning, Warriors. I'm Landry Key. And I'm Jaden. Today is Wednesday, December 6, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to the news. A big shout out to Coach Jason Crabman. He was awarded Football Coach of the Year for Palm Beach County. We are all so proud of him here at Jupiter High School. How do you feel? No, I feel great. Um, it's certainly an honor to win the, uh, the Luke Rosa Award for the Palm Beach County Coach of the Year. Um, it's definitely, um, you know, something that shared with the entire staff and team. Uh, we have a fantastic coaching staff, 16 coaches. <laughs> Um, who work hard every day, uh, getting our players prepared to um, be successful on the field. And then, you know, it certainly wouldn't um, mean anything without having a fantastic team this year. So the team really you know, put us in position to, uh, to have all, all the accolades that we, you know, we've earned over the course of the season. JHS Cyber Warriors is excited to announce that there are 29 students that will be competing in this year in the Cyber Patriot competition. They are learning career skills in the field of cybersecurity while competing against roughly 2,000 schools around the world. They will have four hours to complete the tasks assigned to each team. The Cyber Patriot State Competition is Friday, December 8th. The current all-around open division standings for the Cyber Warriors are Team 1 with the top 13%, Team 2 with the top 17%, Team 3 with top 17%, Team 4 with top 27%, Team 5 with top 42%. In the state of Florida, with 93 teams competing, Team 1 is 12th, Team 2 is 15th, Team 3 is 16th, Team 4 is 22nd, and Team 5 is 38th. Good luck, Cyber Warriors. JROTC cadets Kayla Goldenberg, Sarah Holing, Evan Goodyear, and Cara Carraro participated in Army's Junior Academic Bowl. The main goal of the competition is to prepare students for the SAT and ACT. Questions cover 85% language arts, math, science, and 15% general knowledge and current events. The team competed against 1,700 other JROTC programs across the world, including programs in Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Guam, Hawaii, and Alaska. Jupiter's team has earned a spot to compete in the second level of the competition and are the top team in the district. The top 32 teams who compete and win in the next level will travel to Washington, D.C. to compete in the championship. Congratulations to the team representing Jupiter JROTC, and well done. The next tennis meeting day is January 9th. This meeting is mandatory if you plan on trying out for the 2024 season. Your paperwork needs to be submitted through Activate. No later than Janu January 9th or you will not be able to try out. Tryouts will begin on Tuesday, January 16th. Anyone interested in joining the boys weightlifting team, come to the mandatory informational meeting on December 13th in front of the weight room right after school. Keep see Coach Fleury with any questions. We will love to see you there. DECA is holding a fundraiser at Culver's tonight from 4 to 7 p.m. Come grab dinner and support our Jupiter High School DECA chapter. Make sure you mention DECA at the register. Helping Hands is having their next general meeting on Monday, December 11th, after school in Mr. Hagenbutch's room, Portable 15. We will be discussing important information regarding our upcoming events, distributing service sheets, and working on holiday activity for service hours. For more information, join their Google Classroom with the code J7SIXIF and their remind with at HHJupiter. Letters for Rose has their next general meeting on Thursday, December 14th, after school in Mess Ellis's room, which is 4118. You can participate in a holiday-themed letter workshop for service hours. All community service sheets for previous letters written will also be available for pickup at this meeting. For more information, join LFR's Google Classroom with the code P6IC760. The Infectious Diseases Prevention Club will have their next meeting on Wednesday, December 13th during the lunches. For lunch A, the meeting will be in room 4118, and for lunch B, they will be meet in room 6215. They'll be making posters for community service hours, learning about RSV, all while having snacks with friends. Black Student Union is holding a club meeting today, December 6th, during both lunches in room 4113. 
SGA is hosting a color run relay race this Saturday at 8.30 a.m. on the JHS track. Grab some friends and make a team of four to help us raise money for Jupiter High School's SGA and the Hydrocephalus Association. Tickets are $6 and can be found on GoFan or at the gate of the event. Feel free to bring friends and family. Sunset slush and con con concessions will be available. They hope to see you there. Here's a community service opportunity for you. There's a college track meet this Friday night hosted by Kaiser University, and they need help with moving hurdles and assisting with the field events. The meet runs from 5.30 to 9 p.m. See Coach Jefferson in Portable 20 for more information. In addition, Ocean's First has a beach cleanup this Saturday, December 9th, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Markinski Beach with donuts and community service hours that will be provided. If you're in the mood to spread some holiday cheer, we have eight different donation drives this December, all offering community service hours. DECA is hosting a new and gently used shoe drive to support third world countries around the globe. Shoes can be dropped off in the spirit shop during lunches, at the front of the building, as you walk in, or rooms 4217. The future leaders of the UN are running their first donation drive of the year. Help them support the local community by donating hygiene items to Miss Aldridge's room, 7205, they are collecting travel size shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, hand sanitizer, tampons, and pads. The drive will run from December 4th through December 15th. Helping Hands is also hosting a drive that contributes to Chase and the Dream Foundation's annual holiday toy drive. Chase and the Dream Foundation assists local families battling life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. You can receive up to three community service hours per toy donated, and all toys must be new, still in their box, and placed in a bag with your name, student number, number of toys, and grade level attached. Drop donations off to Portable 15 from now until Thursday, December 14th. For more information, join Helping Hands Google Classroom with the code J7SIXIF. There's also Toys for Tots. Help Jupiter High School celebrate the legacy of Edna Runner by donating new, unwrapped toys. You could drop off the toys in room 1155 during periods 1 through 6 or during, during both lunches. The deadline is 6th period on Friday, December 15th. Or, Donate Toys for Teens, a toy drive hosted by the class of 2026. All donations will be given to the Place of Hope. Usually, teenagers in the system don't receive as many gifts compared to babies and toddlers, so make sure that this holiday season teenagers get the gifts they deserve. Bring your donations to the front of the office, and, of course, community service hours will be given. Sunshine Federation is hosting a toy drive to help Jupiter Middle School. Bring unwrapped toys labeled with your student ID and name to the box in the atrium or to Miss Meiswich's room 5215. Want to help out women in your community? Want to earn community service hours? Women in STEM is hosting a drive for Hannah's Home. Earn hours by collecting and donating hygiene items, Uber and other gift cards, and diaper sizes 4, 5, and 6. Check out boxes in the SGA room 5213, 5701, and room 5209. Check out the boxes for more information on how to donate. The drive runs now until December 15th. The Spanish Honor Society continues hosting a mega Christmas drive for El Sol Resource Center. Bring anything from canned food and non-perishables, hygiene products, toys, books, school supplies, and bicycles in good working condition for the community of El Sol to have a Merry Christmas on behalf of Jupiter High School community. The, do the donation box can be found in Portable 29. For, for the working in good condition bicycles, please also bring them to portable number 29. Muchas gracias to those students who gave, who have brought in am amazing items. Feliz Navidad. And now it is time for everyone's favorite segment. Here's Felix with your joke of the week. What is up, Jupiter? It is your boy Felix, and I give you the joke of the week. Why did Santa go to music school? Because he wants to improve his WAP skills. <laughs> now, a nice week, Warriors. For today's pick of the day, we have Miss Good. Miss Good is an English teacher and was born on Christmas. That's all for the news. Have a fantastic day, Warriors. Let's go. All right, all right. No, I'll take that. I'll take that.